today. Final four is underway. And Khalid El Amin and Yukon have it first. Great matchups. Red is on Hamilton. Freeman steps in, lays it in for the first two. And takes it right at Johnson, the shot blocker. And Bosco right underneath with the box out. Ohio State cannot let that kind of an outlet pass 30 feet down the court. Oh, El Amin, he didn't make a shot from the floor in the West. If Suleiman can give them a few minutes here to keep Bosco rested, Bosco can go in without foul trouble. Johnson's got to wear down some. Ricky Moore, the senior, swish. Shooting your team by three points and out rebound to get 45 to 28. And when I think of this game right here, Michael Red has not scored yet. And he had 17. He has once. He had, he had 17 points in the first half. Against the zone. Saunders hits his first shot. Just posted. Pin stolen. What a grab by El Amin. Nice anticipation. Jones to the basket for two more. On that last possession, Jim. Not wise against his zone. They need to pick it apart. El Amin steps forward, but drains it. Roll here. Hamilton gives wow. UConn the lead back. We don't have there. Off the floor, more. They've got numbers here. El Amin takes the middle. The Freeman. Boy, Connecticut realized two Ohio State players on the floor. They had the three on two, and that goes to show you how strong Kevin. Not bad for two guys that have to stay on the floor. Hamilton working off the screen, and he's warming up. And, and Jim O'Brien takes And they go back to man to man. Nope, they're still matching up in the two three. Well, I mean. And UConn's knocked down its last five shots. And El Amin, as they say, is in a roll prior to that one. It's, it's not like he's not, not capable. Saunders snatches it away. Three on two. Hamilton pull up. Yeah. Six straight made baskets. The seven-point deficit, the largest of the tournament for Ohio State. And it could increase. El Amin, Savovich is back, trying to turn around. Follow up for two more by Hamilton. Amin wanting the foul opportunity for a teammate instead makes a shot himself look at Hamilton drive to the basket that oh I mean Huskies are running the Buckeyes recover Holland off the glass and it rattles home play number five that's his 98th block on the year Hamilton blocked by Singleton Well, now, wait a minute. Scooty Penn bumped his old man. Play, but <laughs> Singleton thought, thought it was Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going there. Pretty good half by both teams, but the players tried to go a little bit too one-on-one. -on -one. Got him in trouble. Fifth rebound to lead the Huskies in this one. And there's a case, Jim, in the NCAA tournament. Guys got to step up and make shots. Now, Brown's wide open because Connecticut really putting two men on red when he drives. You've got to be able to make that jump shot. Brown not ready to take it. There's the same backdoor cut we just showed. Oh, and El Amin had lost it for a moment. But out of his range. And Bosco ahead to El Amin. Bosco trailing. Bounce pass back to him. Hey, it's give and take. I do it on the last trip. You give it back this time. And it's a little handle. Got to play him man to man because he's a guy that can come off that screen and score. Has three defenders and banks it home. Jim, that was a And second time, no. Freeman. Huskies are breaking. Hamilton with Sabovich defending. And one. Two great scores, finding out ways to put that ball up. Jim, we look at the shooting percentages in the first half. Both teams right up there, one above 50, and right just underneath it, we see Hamilton going up using the left hand beautifully. I think back at field goal shooting, and look at that. He just penetrated. Head to El Amin. Left hand for two. Well, there's a situation where Reg Singleton that time, Jim. He's got a good, had a good shot. Saunders steps up, jumper. Wow, from the outside, nice touch. That's just outstanding defense. And Moore the gets the rebound. El Amin, lock pass, Jones, what a snag. But Jim, right now in Savovich, he's quicker. Good screen by Vosco. Oh, great screen by Vosco. Set everything up. Short, and they got the numbers again. Got two ahead. El Amin. Thanks at home.
Jim O'Brien can see things slipping now. 62 with that team, but then was great as an All-American in 64. Saunders thought about it on the post. Now here's El Amin. Off balance, but he drops it. Great penetrator. Seven on the shot clock. He's got Scooney Penn down inside. They can't get in the ball. Here he is. Hamilton. Hamilton puts it up. And he beats the shot clock. That's exactly what they wanted. Hamilton gets caught. Jordan. Put the rebound to the Buckeyes. And oh, two players. Oh, Johnson and Singleton shared it. And that's a traveling violation. Well, everything going wrong for Ohio State. They couldn't get possession down the other end with good defense. Now they've got two guys with possession, but they're on the same team. What a critical point. Just a minute and 21 seconds on the clock, and they turn it over. Well, they're going to have to now be very aggressive and even thinking about fouling some. Down to 110. They've got to get possession. You don't want to put El Amin on the line. Uh, he's a 78% free throw shoot. And again, and they almost score. Yep. More to Freeman. It's caught underneath. And Out to home. Hamilton. One on the clock. Almost for a second time. Penn takes middle. He'll drive it all the way up high. Johnson underneath. Tipped out and controlled by the Huskies. Freeman broke early. And there's a the foul more. It'll be a one and one, not a two shot situation. That's only the eighth team foul. But Jim, Ricky Moore's an 81% free throw shooter. You got a Hamilton on the floor, an 84% free throw shooter. Elamine, a 78 free throw shooter. So, and Freeman, 71. So it's hard to pick out a guy on this team to foul at this point. You don't have much choice. So Ricky Moore at the line, just an outstanding young man who his freshman year burst on the scene, looked as though he might help the team go to the Final Four for the first time, injured late in that campaign, become the greatest defensive player Jim Calhoun says he's ever coached. One and one. Now this year in the Stanford game, he held Arthur Lee to four for 13, held the team Cleves, who we'll see in the next game, to two for 15, and certainly did a splendid job on Scooney Penn today. As Calhoun said he can control a game without even taking a shot. There aren't many players you can say that about. Knocks them both down. Ricky Moore. Ohio State's got to throw that ball up the court in a hurry now. Clock running against them. they got to think strictly three. 30 seconds left. Too much time. There's a three and a foul. They say more foul than in the act. It'll be a three-shot situation. Now, Ricky, Ricky Moore on this one, Jim, has got to use judgment here. That's going to be a very difficult shot to make. You just stay on the floor and let him put it up. You don't want to stop the clock. Call that on Hamilton. Now, he'll get three anyway. What I'm saying is you've got to go ahead and let a guy take a shot like that. The clock is your teammate. Ricky Moore. They've switched it. I, I was a bit surprised, and they announced it here. In fact, they presented 3-2 over to the bench, but it's on Moore, his second. And Ohio State defensively going to put some guys in the game to automatically and quickly foul. If they can get a chance, foul Saunders. Got two shots left. At the first two, one more to come. They bring Brown in along with Reese. Solovich out, Johnson out. Well, the object here will be to foul on that inbounds. Now, if you're Jim Calhoun, you have to get maybe Saunders out of there and get another free throw shooter in the ball game because you know what Ohio State's going to do defensively. Penn makes the bring in the Sean Coleman for the shooter. Saunders is a 62% free throw shooter. Everybody else that's on that floor can really shoot well on the free throw line. Right now! Get Missed up. the third one, and Saunders is fouled right away. So, Ohio State didn't get the basket they wanted, but, you know, that might be a pretty good trade-off to be able to foul with very, basically, a second going off the clock. And still a one-on-one one one situation one. Right. at the other end. Now, Saunders, remember, in this half, pulled up to, and took a, a nice jump shot from the top of the key and made it. Mm -hmm. Worked very graceful with that jump. Yes, he sure did. A two-time All-Stater from Waterbury, Connecticut. Savovich back. 
One and one. Now, if you're Connecticut also, you want to pick up full court to not allow Ohio State to roll that ball down the floor. Well, there you go. There's the trade out. Pin with 21 seconds. Got to take another shot right away. Blocked by Hamilton. Red frees himself. That's a three. Dips down and out. Out to pin with nine seconds. Two eight. And a foul called on Saunders. Oh, boy. That's the last thing that Jim Calhoun wants is to stop the clock and put Ohio State on the line. But, Jim, not enough time now for Ohio State. Connecticut's going to advance to the championship game. And that's 19 in a row. Jim Calhoun over Jim O'Brien. Well, if they get Reese to make the first, miss the second, put back quickly, that's what they have to be hoping. I mean, it's the longest of shots. And Reese at the line, two shot situation. Calhoun called the win over Gonzaga. One moment in time for us. It airbrushed over 75 years of history in the UConn program. And now they bring in Brown. Scooby Penn going to sit down, and Jim, maybe that number 12 jersey was lucky for him today. Mm -hmm. The 35 was that, unlucky. That's what I'm saying. 35 unlucky. Number 12 is what he normally wears. Reese missed the boat. There's another foul on Ohio State. And it's two at the other end. Double bonus. Scooney Penn, the guy that was the leader that turned around that Ohio State team, not only physically, but getting his guys to believe along with his coach that they could have a winning basketball team, not only winning, but one that could go into the NCAA tournament and survive. He'll be back next year, and this is going to be a fine team. Jim O'Brien said Scooney was the only one who believed we could make it here. Almost times wanted to tell him to cool it. You know, we had five straight losing years a year ago, 18 straight losses at one time. Ohio State really hurt itself at the line. Nine of 18 free throws in the game. And Jim, you're looking at a club that's a you know, relatively good free throw shooting team from their productive players, but really weak on the other end, only as a team 61%, so not uncommon for them. Saunders gets the second to go. Jim wants, uh, Jim O'Brien wants a timeout. And we'll take one with him. Five seconds remaining to make it official for Monday night and the Huskies. Good move by Connecticut here. Trying to take away that opportunity to get the ball up the court easily. Penn puts up the shot. And the game is over. You can book it. UConn continues on to the Monday night final.